I've always wanted to do my best. But when you know you can win, then you allow that into the brain box. And you're screwed, aren't you, really? <laughs> Adrenaline and that adrenaline release, that feeling. I'm chasing that drug. Because I want to win. I remember going skiing about 10 years old, skiing in Sheffield on the dry slope, watching the skiers go by, and I'm going so fast. It was just them, and they were in control, and they were doing it, and it was it was awesome. It was that sort of that overwhelming feeling. I was like, that's rad. I want to do that. I loved going fast. I loved being in control. Probably every kiss from a race and being, being charged. People and the lifestyle, that whole counterculture rebelling against the norm and all that, it was so alive when I was getting into this, it caught me. And all the people around, too. My family didn't ski or anything, so it was very much my journey. Look at that shadow. And me figuring out every, you know, turn along the way. James, what day was? I struggled to even remember whether slope style was a thing, whether we even called it that. You know, you hit the jump sometimes, you hit the rails. You just ski park. Now, looking back, Wanting to go skiing, you know, that embodies me. I just want to do what I want to do. You know, and I'm not going to do anything because anybody told me to do it. Actually, I, I won't do anything if somebody tells me to do it. Maybe I'm even more immature now than I was as that wannabe renegade, you know? I'm probably more like that now than I ever was. <laughs> I mean, skiing probably didn't help that, to be honest. I mean, it helped me in so many ways. It gave me so much, but it probably didn't help that attitude. <laughs> but I wanted to leave Sheffield, and I wanted to go and go skiing. At X Games, that was the mission. Being invited and getting the opportunity to drop in and show everybody what I can do. If it's not enough to win, that's all right. But I wanted that opportunity. There were people far better than, better than me. I, I remember specifically this guy that I looked up to coming to me and saying, you know, X Games, it's a TV show, it's, it's America. No one really wants to see a kid from Sheffield in that TV show. was for sure trying to soften the blow, you know, because I'm this like, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Even though I heard what he was saying and I understood it, but I didn't believe it. Like, deep down, I actually knew I was going to do it. There was just no other way. thought that I was going to be the, the young buck who got in, into the big competitions and action sports. Kids are like 14, 15, 16, some of the best in the world. Turning 18, I haven't been invited to X Games. And I hadn't made it to where I wanted to be yet.
about three weeks after my birthday. And I, I got the email. You know, I couldn't believe it. Replying capital letters, you know, screaming through the email. Getting into X Games, it was the it was a holy grail. That's everything I ever wanted. There's how amazing it all is, and how lucky I am, and how grateful I genuinely am for it all. Because it's amazing. It's everything I've ever dreamed of, and that's the truth. But then there there is the overwhelming side. I want to perform my best in every opportunity that I get given. I'm constantly analysing my goals and my methods and my aspirations. We've all got a to-do list. Managing it drives me mad. <laughs> I was borderline too scared to dream of winning the X Games. So actually doing it was crazy. Coming in this time, going left side, triple court, 14, 40, <laughs> Best. You want to perform your best and you want to put on the best show. And I, I mean that when I say it. But then winning is amazing and it does change the perspective. You know, when you go skiing, you enter yourself into a competition, you enter yourself into the realm of being judged, being looked upon, and trying to win. It's, it's hugely addictive. Winning, winning is amazing. Winning, winning feels good. Switch, right side, double court, 1080 there, into the second jump. There's the switch, triple court, 1260. This is my Every rung on the ladder, every, all these rungs on the ladder, are so thrilling. Nervous for sure. But it's a different kind of nervous because everything else is gone. This feeling comes over where it's like, I can't do anything more. I've done everything I possibly can. It's time to let it fly. doing it, it's a split second decision making and you're working on instinct. Everything else disappears. Nothing else matters. You are entirely in that moment and you are entirely focused purely on one thing. And when that happens, no worries. And it's a rad feeling. Rock and roll. that dream, you know, clawing onto, you know, the adrenaline, the fast life. This is me. 
me doing me. That's what I want to do.